Hey Sparks, what's up? And hello to those of you that might be new to my channel. My goal here is to inspire, educate, and share information that will help you thrive in life and thrive in business. So if that sounds good to you, be sure to subscribe. All right, let's get into this video. So many of you have asked me about banding my hair. And this is what 22nd century woman, is what she did, and I thought it was cute. And, and I'm just kind of, I, I like things like this. I think they're cute, they're quirky. I go out and people are like, oh my God, I love your hair. I get so many compliments. And sometimes I put like gold string around it. But this is it, and so I'm just gonna show you. So this is kind of like the third video update. Here's the uh, ponytail holders. I buy new ones maybe every, you know, few months. Now, because they do get stretched out and you're seeing my hair in the banding. So sometimes I'll just pull them down because um, I put shea butter on my hair every single day. So most of the time I am, and it's just slipping out real easy. Now if I feel like there's a tug or if I've looked at these and I've seen hair, I typically won't, but I normally don't get any hair from these. And this is my hair, okay? Now if I want definition in my hair, after I do this, I have to go in and twist the top because my hair does tend to get straighter um, because it's being worn down, so it'll take a few days. But this is it. This is it. <laughs> this is it. Stretched out. Okay. This is this is it. That's, I mean, this is it. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. This is it. Um, and so, like I said, if I want more definition, then I will have to twist my hair to get it to look full because right now it's a little stringy but again I add a lot of shea butter to my hair every day I'll take the shea butter I like to use the yellow shea butter put it in my hands like she says and then literally just put it once my hair so my hair does have more of a um, you know that's just the look and it's literally come back to life go back to my older videos I was going through all that stress and this mess in my life and my hair was just struggling it was a struggle but yeah, it's much better. So just wanted to kind of show you that. Um, I'm actually not gonna take, well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna take my, my hair down because Mancer has a few games today. So all I'm literally doing, because I have so much on my hair already, here's my shea butter. <laughs> take a little bit. I already have a bunch on my hair, but I don't care because I know that keeping my hair moisturized is important. Okay, here, and then I'm just taking it. Now I like to use the um, shea butter that has palm oil, which is the yellow shea butter. Do you? Okay, because I just this morning made some shea butter body butters for my family, and that has coconut oil, castor oil, and honey. In addition to the, um, I use the white shea butter, ivory rather, that does not have palm oil in it. This one has palm oil, and so I concentrate on my ends. Yeah, and yes, I do this daily. And so what I'm gonna do? Because, all right, so actually. Just take a little brush. This is a very, very soft. This was actually a body brush, but it's a very soft brush. I don't care about waves and all that extra stuff, so all I'm doing is just brushing it a little bit. And literally taking my hair, okay? Taking one of the little goody ponytail holders. One, two, for me, I just do three, okay? And it doesn't give you a very tight, tight look, so what? <laughs> yeah, no. And then I just take it, and then this is it. I mean, this is it, guys. This is, and I'm real simple, y'all. I watch my channel know that. So I have a few upcoming topics I want to talk about. One is, um, are you ready for a national certification in your business? I mean, a lot of women in business are like, oh, I'm gonna get this certificate. And I'm like, uh, I don't know if you're ready for, you know, the Minority Business Enterprise or WeBank. Um, when it gets a little lower, I have to do maybe four. So I'll be talking about that. I'm gonna also talk about these um, fake ass business coaches online that have never had businesses but wanna teach you business. Some that have had businesses and then maybe possibly, we don't even know if they've had success and now they're teaching business. And the free resources that have literally helped me um, transform my business. And this year I got real serious about and the investments of time I made into you know, um, the Small Business Development Center. So I'm gonna talk about that. There are a lot of people out here that are just, they're just not right. And I don't even think that they realize it. I don't think it's being scammy. I think that they're like, oh, I know business, I'm gonna teach you business. I meet people with full-time jobs that are like business coaches. I'm gonna teach you. I, I've met people that are like relationship coaches and have never been married. So, 
again, those are some of the upcoming topics that I'll be talking about. And again, this is my channel. I talk about whatever the hell I want. Uh, I don't use YouTube as like a main source of income. <laughs> the only thing I use YouTube for, it goes into one bank account I've had for over 10 years and it pays my life insurance and it builds up. Matter of fact, I haven't even seen the balance for that bank account in years because that's just where the money goes, okay? So that's why I'm not kind of structured. That's why I'm like, oh, you know, I ain't coming at you with all these really well edited videos. Um, I, I probably would like to have better edited videos, but I don't have time because I'm in business for real. I'm also gonna talk about, you know, setting a budget for your business. Some of you all don't really understand that as I didn't understand it for like five years. Um, the books that I'm reading, so again, things that inspire, educate, and share. And that's my goal, to provide you with information that helps you thrive in life and thrive in business. I ain't talking about no relationships though. I ain't in a relationship. I don't wanna be in a relationship. I've been married twice. <laughs> I probably talked to you about kind of the do's and don'ts, but I think that sometimes we have to recognize everybody ain't built for marriage either. You know, everybody's not built. And you don't have to. If I, you know, if I could do all this again, which with my second marriage, I didn't want to get married. I just wanted to kind of just chill out and let it do what it do. And he wanted to get married. And of course, I, I did. I mean, of course, had to want to get married to get married. Um, this one's a little stretch out, this band. So I'm just going to do it three times. And I don't want a very, very tight, tight, okay? And then, okay, so... Um, but yeah, marriage ain't for everybody. And for me, initially when I was married before, it was more of a like spiritual issue. Like, I'm gonna go to hell because I'm having sex outside of marriage. And I just don't believe that God is putting people in hell because they're quote unquote fornicators. Because if he did, he putting people in hell because they're drunkards too. I mean, it's just, we gotta move beyond this religion that keeps people bound. So anyways, those are some of the topics that I'll be talking about, okay? Mr. Clemson's back there, we went on a walk. Yes, he does sleep in the bed with me. I don't care about you and your opinions. It's my baby right there. And he's tired because it's cold. It's like 39 degrees outside. We was out there walking. He wanted to get home so bad. I tired his butt out. He like a little toddler. You got to tire him out. So some of my ends are sticking out. I like to keep them protected. So I'm just trying to cover them up a little bit. That's it. Literally for me, I don't have a very smooth looking look now you can if you want to put water on you want to put some gel you know you do you do whatever so just to make this little and, and again it's the weekend when i'm creating this video so i'm going to mansour's basketball games so i'm not real concerned about being super super cute there i don't care i'm cute anyway and i'm just gonna put my scarf on and Put this on to get a little bit of a smoother look. I feel like I care a little bit about my appearance. <laughs> That's how I put my makeup on. I'm gonna be all good, okay? And these are just back here, and that's it. Okay. All right. As always, thanks so much for watching. And y'all, life is good. It just keeps getting better. Keep your head up. God loves you, and He's so faithful. So, anyways, and He ain't trying to send you to hell if you're having sex outside of marriage. Some fool. All right, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.